Hi, this is a talk my life because I don't have time to draw my life because it just wouldn't go. It was too long, you know, all that fun stuff. So let's just get started. I was born February 2nd, 2005 to my mother and my biological father who I have feelings about but I don't like him nor do I love him. <clears throat> But let's see. So yes, I remember that I was little. Um, they would sleep with me, and I remember I would get crushed, and I started to have bad dreams about that, about being crushed. And I remember that he would sneak me ice cream in the middle of the night because I'd like it. It was just not a good incident. And I remember that one day. Um, this is the day that he was arrested, which is hard. Breaking. I mean, like, it's very heavy on me. So let's see. Um, he was, sorry, this, he was, I remember I was home with my biological father's mom, who I will not call grandma. I remember her name. I'll call her by her name. Trini. I think, I remember Trini was at my house. And everyone, I think she was in on it. She locked me out of my parents' room, which I need to come forth and say this because um, they need to arrest her too because she's saying I'm not in on it, but she locked me out of my parents' room who I was banging on the door crying to let me in. I remember this. I was crying, let me in, let me in, let me in. I remember, I was, this, is, this is all real. Okay, I've told people about it at school. I've told so many people. And, um, when they finally let me in, the police were at my house, and there was blood all over the floor. And, um, my mom broke her nose. And, um, I hated to see my mom. I didn't, I didn't like how my mom looked. I remember I would call her evil and I, ugly and bad. I'd see that she looked like the devil, I remember. And, um, actually she told me that. But then we moved in with my grandma. That way I could still have some interaction with my family without just being scared to look at them. And, you know, all that fun stuff. And I remember my mom would give me bad dreams because she broke her nose and it looked all swollen and blue and twisted. And it was, it was not pretty. I don't have a picture, I don't think. But if I do find one, I'll post a picture of it on my Instagram, which is Stormy Vultures. Obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyways. So, yeah, I, this would happen. And then we moved in with my grandma. And then we moved in with my mom's boyfriend, which we had two dogs, Yola and Oso, who I loved. But then, um, we lost our dogs because he didn't like them. I remember. That's why my mom told me. But now she's saying that it's because he didn't have a big enough year. But he just didn't like our dogs. <clears throat> yes. No, he didn't get Zalman or something. Okay, never mind on this. To that part, we didn't get salamanders yet. But I remember we had to lose our dogs. And I remember um, I fell down the stairs one time at this house. And I had a magical, I still have this guy, magical iguana. He would climb up trees and run and hide. And I'd never see him. I wouldn't see him for like four days straight because he'd do like this magic trick. And then he'd finally come back and then he'd leave again, which I don't know how he did it, but I can't do it. <laughs> I've tried. I still have him, so I've tried. Um, but it doesn't work. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I remember I was scared to be left alone with him. I don't exactly know why. I just know that I don't have the best relationship with men. Um, so I was scared to be left alone with my mom's boyfriend at the time. Um, I don't remember that he would throw things at me and yell at me, and yeah, I remember when we moved here to Fort Collins in Colorado, um, when we moved to Fort Collins in Colorado, um, I was, I was like three, and he, I had a bedroom about being crushed in my parents' bed, uh, at the old house, you know, I, I still have these dreams occasionally, um, rarely now, but occasionally. And, um, I went and told everyone, and I was like, I had a bad dream, and he's like, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it, because I remember they were watching a movie, 
without me that I really liked. And my mom's like, you can watch it. And he's like, no, no, I'll take care of it. So, um, yeah, they, he took me into my room, slammed the door shut, and he had a hold of my doll, which I should not have let him have. Um, he said, you need to go to sleep, and you're stubborn. I remember. And, uh, yeah. Then he, uh, we had a yelling fit. He yelled at me like crazy. I suppose, kind of quietly, he shouted at me, the way my mom was not here. I never told my mom about this. I don't want her to know this. It's just no, I don't want her to. Um, so I've never told her. I have not told her about a lot of things that have happened to me. Um, because I just don't feel she needs to know. It's private, and uh, you know. So yeah, um, he threw it at me, and it, the force got. Um, I don't want to show anyone anymore because I don't have it. But um, it was a doll. And its head broke off, so I had like a bruise going up my back this way, and then I had a big bruise all the way over here, down here, from the head, and then the body going upward. So, yeah, that was that. Um, I had that big bruise, and my mom would always ask, What's this from? What's this from? And I would never tell her, so she knows that I had a big bruise from something, and I got it uh, around that week, so she knew that it was from something that week. Um, yeah, that's exciting. And, um, so we left him. He went back to, um, Hayden. And, you know, then I started kindergarten, where my mom, uh, we went to church. And my mom was in the single parents group, and so was my stepdad now. But I just call him dad because I have a great relationship with him. Um, so, yeah, um. He was also there in that group, and uh, my mom and my dad met, and um, stepdad, but dad met there, and um, they got married at that church as well, which we still go to that church. Um, and so, yeah, and we still live near my grandma. My grandma plays a very important role in my life. I hang out with her all the time on Fridays. I go and have sleepover, because I love to do that, you know? So, yeah, I do that, and I'm, yeah, I have very many bases, but no one knows, um, so yeah, and so, my grandma's helped with a lot of things. So, yeah, and then also, um, we moved, again, but my, my dad, my now dad, um, he, he, um, he married my mom, and hurt me, but I don't tell anyone my mom was right there, and she was smiling the whole time while I was being threatened to be hurt. Um, she was smiling that I was going to be hurt, and hurt, and just, I called the police. Um, obviously, I had no other choice. Um, they were like, oh, you're too young, I don't care about this. You know, no policemen do. <laughs> and not all, so sorry, just the operator lady. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to say any names because I really don't want them to go to the jail. So yeah, um, that, and also, um, afterward, what else? And they are married now, and yeah, and now my, I've been called very many names from him and friends. I've been called fat. Which I hate the most. And I now suffer from mild depression. Very mild, but still. Heartaching and. Not very fun to deal with. I mean, I still smile. I can smile. I can still be happy. I just feel like everything that goes wrong is my fault that I put a bruise on this world, that I'm just bad and everything that goes wrong is my fault which isn't necessarily true and it shall never be true so it's gonna slide off um actually it's making it better lighting so never mind but yeah so that and um that's always been very touchy on me see how now I do that and people leave me out they just include me I hated uh, my best friend lately has been very rude to me and I lost all my other friends pretty much 
there's this one girl who's very sweet to me. Her name is Chloe. She has a channel, Shay Fancouser. And also, Haley Fowler is also another girl's channel. She has her subscribe to if you want to find Shay's channel and you can't. Uh, but Chloe, Haley's also been very nice to me lately. But they, I still lost them a long time ago. So I consider myself no friend. The boys that I used to be best friends with, I feel uh, very close to still, but I don't really like to go up to them and talk to them because I now have a crush on one of them. He's what keeps me going because I have a thought of suicide. So, bye. I hope you enjoyed and I'm sorry that it was kind of saddening in the end. Um, sorry if I'm talking weird as well. I'm very tired. So, good night.